Well, as we move to the bottom of the third inning for Mississippi State, Jeff Butts, who hits eight in this Bulldog lineup, followed by Michael Rutledge and Jeffrey Ray. First pitch by Butts, lined in the left field. Good start for the Bulldogs. Second hit for Mississippi State today. I think this might be one of the best ever. Yeah, it, it, it may well be. You know, where we have one statistic people don't talk about is an 80% winning percentage in non conference games. They sit to the right side. Everybody will hold up. Bucks will stop at second. Rutledge is on, and nobody out here in the bottom of the third and two on the top of the order on the way. But today has been great. For an hour and a half, these fans have been here. They've been chanting. As soon as the teams got on the field, they were screaming and hollering. And I got to tell you, there are a few atmospheres that'll match this in, in any sport, really. Line, base hit down the left field line. Butts comes around third. Rutledge on his way to third. He'll be held up. An RBI double, and the Bulldogs are on the board. About it again in, in our meetings next week in Destin, Dave. Uh, last year we went through a discussion and decided to keep it at eight. Base hit. That'll score both runners. And the Bulldogs are touching Mark Holloman with a two of five hits and three runs. His first trip to out to the mound. There is Mark Holloman. He knew he was only going to work a couple of innings today, but got touched up pretty good in that third. Hammer right field. Home run, Mississippi State. and gets it into right field. The Rebels are on the board, but the finish of the play was not exactly what they wanted. Guns are out easily on the nice throw from right field by Corley. Catch it. The nice throw from right field by Brad Corley. He comes up, no play at the plate. A rifle throw down to second easily gets Gunther sliding in. Good application of the tag by Thomas Berkery and Ole Miss now has two outs, but they've got one on. Dave, they got to run here in the seventh to get back in this game. You know, it's you just got to think things like where you are, game situation. You're down three. You got the top of the order coming up. You got your best hitters and Coughlin, Petway, Head, do up. Osteen chases a pitch out of the strike zone. The Rebels only get one. They squander another off. Yeah. 
Cleveland fell behind 3-0 and, oh, and came back to throw three straight strikes out number one. Number 33, right fielder. Boy, this is really battling. He came back with a fastball that ran away from the left-handed hitting Coughlin. Pretty good piece of pitching right there. He looks like a reliever, doesn't he? Just a bulldog. Right chase is a bad pitch, one down. Number 10, first baseman, Justin Henry. Well, Brett Cleveland continues to bring heat. This one up and out of the strike zone. You could see Mark Wright had no chance. The ball was up around shoulder level. You sure? <laughs> you want to think about that for a minute? Chopper to third. Berkery. Number two. Number one, number four, Here's Zach Kozar with the game on the line. I think the crowd will tell you this story. Ninety-three miles an hour. You think he's pumped up? <laughs> The Rebels could be down to their last strike. Got him. Game over. Bulldogs are your champions. Mississippi State put on a dominating performance. No opponent scored more than two runs in a single game. You don't think he's not charged up? Look at that. I'm not going to chest bump that guy. I mean, let's face it, Larry. It's one thing to win this tournament, but when you have the opportunity to knock off your rivals, it's magnified exponentially. And this is only the second time, as far as we can tell, after making numerous phone calls and checking with the league, only the second time that Ole Miss and Mississippi State have competed on the playing field for an SEC championship. The last occurred in 1941 on the gridiron, and Mississippi State beat Ole Miss in Oxford 6 to nothing to capture the SEC football title. As you see, Jeff Butts making his way over to that... Uh, Mississippi State crowd is our tournament M.